Well, Kyron, congratulations. A 10 4 win over Ali Carter in the Gilberts Tour Championship quarter final. That's a pretty good night at the office, isn't it? Yeah, Ali's obviously a class act. Um, you know, there's, there's an argument to say he's definitely one of the players of the season so far. So um, it was always going to be a tough game. Um, you know, I was chuffed to sort of get a good lead going into this evening's session. Um, there was a couple of loose ones this evening, but. You know, I kind of stepped up when I needed to and made a few good clearances. Obviously, like you say, we get that mid-session, sort of that sort of end-of-session interval uh, in these big best of 19 matches. You had a big lead, 6-2. How do you keep yourself grounded in, the, in that break to you know, stay focused in the, in the evening session? Do you know what? I fell asleep. <laughs> um, I fell asleep and I normally, I kind of like, I'm quite sort of forward-thinking and me and Taylor, we, we work on it and we try and plan when you're going to have a nap and, and how it's going to work. And I think I fell asleep for just over an hour and I woke up at like 10 to 6 and really panicked and thought, wow, time to jump in the shower and, and get over here. So yeah, I didn't have time to think. Good to get that napping preparation in before the crucible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, no, you have to try and sort of, you know, make, make the most of, of your concentration and you're only going to do that by having good rest. So yeah, maybe made a little bit too much of that today. We'd have to get used to these longer form matches now. We're in the part of the season where it's best of 19 as a minimum. Yeah. Um, you know, how crucial is this tournament for your preparation going into the World Championships in April? Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, the best of 19 is from the off. Um, you know, there's no other event like that. And it has kind of a master's feel about it with a one table setup. And, you know, it's obviously full of class. It's the best eight performers of the season. So you have to be on it from the off. And um, yeah, the World Championships isn't too far away. So yeah, fantastic match practice. In your opinion, do you think you have a sort of upper hand on the players that aren't in this tournament going into the Crucible? No, not really. I think, you know, there's there's an argument for and an argument against. I think the players that are not in it are obviously making the most of having a good couple of weeks of, of extra practice. Um, whereas, obviously, you could look at it as, as good match practice being here. But, you know, there's so many class players that are not in this event. So you can't write those guys off either. Been a ranking event winner this season, two quarterfinals, now three semi-finals. You must be feeling brilliant about your game at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I've obviously found a lot of consistency, um, especially sort of as the turn of the year. Um, you know, I felt like I had to. We've had obviously a lot of ITV events with the Grand Prix, the players, and now the Tour. So, you know, one of my main goals this year was to make sure I was in this Tour Championship, and obviously now I'm here. It's it's fantastic to get a win under my belt. We heard earlier on in your TV interview about your son Bailey sadly going into hospital. How is he? How's he doing now? Yeah, he's okay. Um, yeah, sort of the the last couple of days before coming here, he's, he's turned a bit of a corner. Touch wood. Um, you know, he's, he's running around. You wouldn't know anything was wrong with him. But yeah, it's it's just important to obviously talk about these things. Sometimes I think it can be quite detrimental if you if you bottle things up. And um, yeah, obviously. His health is, is a priority, so um, yeah, Finley and Bailey would uh, would be chuffed with tonight's win. Definitely, and obviously, you know, things like this put life into perspective, don't they? Snooker goes on the back burner, but it would be great for you to have your family down this weekend, or well, particularly on Friday for the fitting match. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I've I've definitely sort of fallen victim um, to sort of putting all of my eggs in one basket and making snooker the be all and end all. So when something like that happens, it, it does free you up a little bit. It kind of makes you realise sort of how lucky you are and it brings you down to earth. So um, yeah, I've kind of come here and I'm just very grateful that I'm able to play and enjoy it. Okay, and all the best to you and your family and best luck for the weekend. Thanks very much. Cheers.